Hey, it's Don. We're going to talk about a vintage toy today that sells for a lot of money, that has many different kinds and varieties that do show up. Let's hop over right now and look at them now. So today we're talking about Mattel's Thingmaker and the Creepy Crawler line, both basically the same thing. There's actually a third line that came out and that can use some of the same material, and that is the vacuum form kits by Mattel as well. This is the original one. This is from 1964. It still has the plastic, which you can see with the bugs on it, going across the box itself. So this is an NOS boxed version. You can see it out of the box here. Here's the lid to this one. This one sold for almost $900. I've seen sets of these go for well over a thousand in many occasions, so there is a lot of money to be had with these. As I said, vacuum form kits go along with the creepy crawlers as well. You could develop them or make them in the same basic machine. These are vacuum form, basically blanks that you can make your own items for or form from the set. Very nice set here. $800 for a partial display case with some missing from it. The money is here in these. This is one of the areas I always look for. They are still made and they've been made by several different companies throughout the years. So you got to be careful on which one you're looking for. Now here are some molds that were sold individually, a skeleton kit and then the snakes and spiders. Now the skeleton one is one of those that's always sought after. Most everybody wants the skeleton ones. $338 just for four of these little trays, two in each one of these packs. Now here's another box, 1964 Creepy Crawlers. This one's been opened, doesn't have everything quite well with it. This one sold for 305 bucks. So an NOS really increases the value on something like this. Now even 50 plus year old goop from these can still sell for some good money. Here's a lot of the goop that came in these, $180. Most of these will still be good. We have had the 1964 version of the goop, and it's still been usable. It still sells. There's other bottles and versions of the goop as well, depending on who made it and when it came out, which we'll look at more as well. Now, here's an original carded NOS of the goop from 1964 with the white label. The white label is the one you always want. It goes far better than any of the other ones. Now the toy itself is the thing maker, but creepy crawlers were one of the lines that they made and eventually that turned into the brand. So as these developed and other companies stepped in, Thingmaker went bye-bye, that was the Mattel line, and it turned into creepy crawlers. And as you can see, this one went for $155.50. Now here's the Creepy People set as well. As I said, Creepy Crawlers was a set for bugs. These are people in this one here. Box that is missing some stuff. It only has one bottle of goop with most of it gone. $140 on this one. Now here's the mini dragon set. You could make little dragons out of these kits. It has four of the metal trays to cast four different sets. Rather interesting, another 140 bucks on this one. Now here's one of the most popular ones. This is Fright Factory by Thingmaker. This has the skeleton, has teeth, Dracula, bones, and things along that line. $134. This one's pretty much all there, but not complete. This one's very, very well sought after. Some of these glowed in the dark, the actual goo itself too, and those are the ones that are most popular, the original ones, of course. And as I said, other companies made these as well throughout the production years. This is Creepy Crawlers by Toy Max, Jack's Pacific Toys, the same company that makes the wrestling action figures. And this one's a mint sealed one for $130. It's new, ready to go, untouched. This is the 90s version of this one. Now here's a thing maker geared towards the girls. This is fun flowers. You can make flowers with faces on them. This is one of those oddity lines from it. It sold for $125. You can see the artwork late 60s, early 70s on this one. Now even the metal trays on their own will sell very well. Here's a lot of 50 of the metal trays, the mold trays themselves for $120 plus shipping. 
Now these are just the common ones. There's multiples of the same one as well. Now there are some of these that will sell on their own each tray for some good money, which we'll show you in just a few moments as well. Now here's the triple thing maker kit. This has the Zoofy and Picadoos and the Creepy Crawlers all in one. These are characters that came out with these also. $104. It's not quite complete either. These vintage ones will sell. This is from the 70s. As I said earlier, the bottles have some rare varieties with them. This is the plain white label. This is the second label from 1965. The label that's white with the bug on it is the 1964 version. Two bottles of these two ounce ones with the white label, $92.50. These are the smaller, the more common ones as well. Now, throughout the 80s and 90s, they did tie-ins with movies and TV shows. Here's the Jurassic Park set, as well as an extra kit to make some more with more goop. This one sold for $85 with free shipping. These new ones will still sell. They didn't make a ton of these because they weren't big, huge sellers at the time. But they did sell. If you find these today, just the trays and some of these will sell also. Now, here's a later 1966 bottle. This is the 4-ounce bottle. $77. As I said earlier, most of the goop will still be good. If you turn the bottle upside down and it still pours inside, it's still good. This stuff will last for a very long time, more than 50 years, and you can still use this stuff. It has to be cured, basically, with the heat from the light inside the machine to actually set these and make them firm up. Now here's a new Spider-Man Never Open set, $75. Now this is 90s into the 2000 era. Again, they made them for a ton of different things. The character trays are what most people want. Now these weren't widely sold when they were released, so these still are fairly scarce today. Now they also made some fantasy action figures. This is the Creepy Crawlers toy line. Most people don't realize they made toys and don't know or ID these toys when they're loose out of the package. In the package here, this one sold for $60. Some of these can go for hundreds of dollars on the package or even loose if you get the right ones. Now here's an NOS X-Men set for 60 bucks with free shipping. Now this is a Canadian version. I do believe this one's only available through Canadian games in Canada back in the 90s through the 2000 era. This is a little harder to get. Not well sought after though, but still an excellent pickup. Now here's some Disney trays from the original run of these back in the 60s. These are fairly scarce. Just these four trays went for 60 bucks. That's pretty good at $15 a tray. Some of these trays are extremely rare. There's some that only show up once or twice a year. They're that rare and can sell for hundreds of dollars alone for just one tray. Now here's a giant creepy crawler. These made big bugs instead of the standard tray size that had three or four bugs on a tray. Each one of these trays only made one giant bug. The box graphics on this are excellent. This one went for $52.95 plus 18 shipping so still an excellent example of this mostly complete but it doesn't have to be the trays are what most people want on these now this is one of the most sought after ones this is the batman tray from 1965 this is from the tie-in from the tv show with adam west fairly scarce i've only had one or two of these in my life they are out there they are very scarce though so hence the value 50 bucks for one tray plus shipping now, the last one's another lot of Disney trays. These are the large size, giant size Disney characters, as opposed to the other ones that had multiple characters on the same tray. Each one of these makes one. Now, they designate these as Marks. Marks did have some license to reproduce and sell some of the Disney characters back in the 60s. Marks had play sets and such forth, and this is one that's tied in with Marks as well. $46.99 with free shipping. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
Creepy crawlers, creepy crawlers, creepy crawlers. Now, you can make all kinds of lovely things like these with Mattel's wonderful thing maker. It makes creepy crawlers, spiders and lizards, snakes, dragonflies. Make them yourself with this nice plastic goop. Choose a mold, pour in the goop, heat it, and presto change oh, You've got bugs. Squiggly, squirty bugs. They feel so soft and natural. You get four different colors of goop and special paints. Make charming lizard pins or spider rings. You can collect them or spread them around. After all, they are fun for the entire family. <laughs> get Mattel's new thing maker with creepy crawlers. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell.